Hi, I'm Melinda Messenger and this is Past to Present with OK. If I had to summarise my career in a sentence, I would say my career has been eclectic. My first memory of being in the public eye, it was probably when I, I, I got sent to um, a film premiere of The Fierce Creatures. The whole thing was quite an extreme experience, but the moment I, I'll never forget was um, bumping into Madge from Neighbours. It was like, it's Madge from Neighbours. <laughs> and that, was, that just blew my mind. I started my career as a model and that, uh, but I didn't do it for very long actually. It was only a, a few months, so I didn't have a huge amount of experience in it and I had no idea what I was doing. I was just kind of winging it and hoping it, hoping for the best really. It was fun, but I kind of knew pretty quickly that I'd get a bit bored of it and I wanted to do something else. And so yeah, thankfully um, TV came along and that's where it went. My favourite show that I've worked on is probably would be Cowboy Builders. Um, I think I did it for about 10 years and I loved that show and I loved it because we were kind of using all the privileges that we had in TV um, to sort out you know, real life situations, real life problems that a lot of families would never have been able to resolve by themselves. Fort Bayard was an amazing show to do, and that is on a, a real Napoleonic fort. It's in the middle of the ocean, and we would have to be, uh, we'd have to go out by boat. I remember one day the the weather was so extreme um, that the the waves were crashing in over the top of the, of the fort, and we all had to be evacuated, and we got helicoptered out, and so that was quite exciting. And yeah, and the animals lived on it all year round. So there were tigers there, there were all sorts, snakes, scorpions, um, and they all had their own kind of little sleeping quarters. And we heard the stories of how the tigers, one year before us, thank goodness, um, actually managed to get out. One of them was in season, the other one got a little bit, and um, yeah, they jumped out. And every, they were kind of like these cell doors around the fort, and they were all kind of full of like the, the different challenges and the, the camera crew. And apparently all you heard was all these doors slamming shut as everybody kind of tried to escape to rampant free tigers because you, you probably would do that. <laughs> I started to train as a psychotherapist um, five years ago. Well, actually it was longer than that, but I took a break and I've been training for the last five years in total. And the reason I decided to do that, it's just because it was something I always knew I wanted to do. So I always wanted to work in one of the healing professions and I just wasn't quite sure which. Um, and then I found transpersonal psychotherapy, which this is it, um, and started the work. And it is, it's just really beautiful. It changes your life. It changes your life for the better. And I, uh, through the process of training, had my own therapy and I just saw how valuable it was and life changing that it was. And then I thought, I want to be able to offer this to other people. Um, so yeah, it was a vocation of the heart, for sure. Turning 50 for me, I'm actually really grateful about it for loads of different reasons. You know, I'm just like happy that I'm alive, number one, you know, and I'm healthy, touch wood, um, and that life gets better and better. You know, I, I, I would never go back. I'd never go back. I. I if for every year that I get older, I get more grateful, uh, appreciate, you know, what I have. Um, and so, no, it's a wonderful thing. And I'm looking forward to like the next 10, 20, 30, however many years ahead. And just looking forward to, you know, all the twists and turns. My life has never been what I imagined it would be. It's taken so many different twists and turns. So, yeah, I don't know what it's got in store for me, but I'm, um, yeah, quite happy to, to still be going along for the ride. 
a life lesson that I would want to pass on to my children. The one that I communicate the most is whatever you do, whatever you choose in life is absolutely fine. As long as it makes you happy, you know, if you do something that you're kind of aligned with and, and it makes you happy, and it doesn't mean you're gonna be happy all of the time because that's unrealistic, but for the most part, it brings you joy. You know, so you can wake up in the morning and you think, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that today. Um, then you're on the right path because that is far more valuable and far more important than any kind of you know wealth status any other trappings that you might get is is the joy and the happiness that you get from day to day because essentially that's your life um, so yeah choose wisely choose what makes you happy and, and never be afraid to start again and take a different direction follow your heart <laughs>